Greetings everyone. Welcome to the part 3.4 of the Chrononet series or the EEG ML series. In the part 0, we have seen that how to load the data using MNE. At that time, the data is in .edf format. After that, we have used machine learning, then we have used CNN. In the Chrononet series, we have seen that how we can build a CNN RNN architecture using PyTorch. Now it's the time for the data preparation. Before creating this part, I decided to use the data set I have used earlier, which is schizophrenia data set in the part 0, part 1 and part 2. But now I have decided to change that. The reason is that I want you people to give a new flavor of the data set. The data set I am using is not in .edf format. It is in .mat format. Actually, the data set is taken from Emotive device, which is a device to get the data of EEG. Let me show that what is Emotive. This is the device used to collect the data. The data is basically described in this paper, which is available on archive. And the other published version of this paper is also available. In an other paper, which is actually machine learning based diagnosis of intellectual developmental disorder, the data set has been used. So I'm going to describe from this paper. First, what is the intellectual developmental disorder? It is a mental disorder that cause malfunctioning of the brain. And it is common in some countries such as known as third world countries. So let's come directly to the data set. Data set is comprised of 14 subjects. Seven subjects are diagnosed as intellectual and developmental disabled IDD and seven typically developing control, that is TDC. The age and of T ITD and TDC subjects is 28.28 and 21.28. On what basis the subject are diagnosed as ITD and TDC? It is based on IQ level and SQ level of the subject. So it is the range, if the range is below, if the range is between 52 to 68 of the IQ level, then it is ITD. And from SQ, it should be between 57 to 62 to diagnose as IDD. And above that, it is diagnosed as control or normal person. The sampling frequency of the data set is 128 Hz and it has 14 electrodes placed according to 1020 international system. Data is recorded for two minutes for each subject under rest condition followed by music stimuli of two minutes. It means that we have data for of two things for the rest condition and for the when the subject is listening to the music. There are some pre-processing step applied to the data and then the data is uploaded on the internet. The two or three step that are applied is the filtering. The data is filtered between 1 to 30 Hertz. By default, the data should be between 0 to 128 Hertz, but the author of the data set have pre-processed it from 1 to 30 Hertz. And using independent component analysis ICA, the author removed the unwanted noise. Also, they have used the adjust plugin from the EEG lab to remove some of the artifacts and the EEG signal is segmented into four second epochs. This is from the author of this paper, not the author of the data set. I believe. So actually this paper is using discrete wavelet transform, but we are not going to use discrete wavelet transform. We are use we are decided to go toward the chrononet paper. So I have given you the introduction of the data set and why I have introduced you to the data set because a uh, commenter Milind Nato have asked me to explain the data set that uh, and how I why I created the group and labels in the data set though I have explained that but I will explain it, it again and for the theory and fundamentals, fundamentals of machine learning I'm not going to discuss that because there are more better tutorials on the YouTube that are going to discuss what is machine learning and what is deep learning and how. So now let's jump into the coding part of the series. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. Okay, the first thing I missed the where is the data is available. The data is available in the Mendeley website. So you can go to this website and search as EEG data set of individual with intellectual and you can find this data set from the Ikansh Serene the author of the or contributor of this data set. So now I have to download this data set. Okay, click OK, but then I have to basically stop the downloading process because I am going to 
copy the download link which I am going to put it in my Google Collab notebook. This is the path from where we can download this data set and now I want this data set name to be as data.zip. So instead of downloading the data with this name which is something or randomly generated the data now will be downloaded with the name of data.zip and this is possible by this dash o parameter argument. So the first thing is to download the data set uh, then we can see how we can pass this data set to the coronet model we have implemented before uh, as you can see that the notebook is initializing so it will take some couple of seconds so the data set is being downloaded it is a very small data set and if we can see the file its name is data.zip so now i have to unzip the data set for that i am going to use capture the reason to use capture is that i do not want to get the output of the extraction process so i want to hide that and this magic command is to use to hide the output of a cell so i'm going to use unzip to unzip the data okay the data has now been unzipped and i have to see whether it is unzipped or not yes it is unzipped and there are a couple of folder in the data set the one is the clean data data raw data i am interested in clean data and in the clean data i have the data of music and rest and then i have the data of uh, idd and tdc so i am in i am interested in the data of idd and tdc in this mentioned here let me open what is inside each of the data set so let me if i do clean data idd there is nothing in this data set and what is in clean data tdc there is also nothing in this data set so this is the clean data of TDC of the music and this is for the rest. Let me figure out why there is nothing in this here. Okay, actually the structure is not well maintained. So I have to get the clean data of the TDC from this structure and the clean data of IDD from here. So that's something. So now I am going to define the path of the IDD and TDC, IDD and TDD. IDD is basically the disease subject and TDC is the control subject and I am not going to use the music or the rest I am actually going to use the rest you can replicate the same thing for the music part also and for the TDC I can come I can copy it from here there is one thing I have to mention that there is one file which is causing some sort of error and that file is in the IDD section so let me go to the IDD and this is the file which is actually duplicate so I have to remove that first because I do not want to have some any issue with this because I have one extra or maybe duplicate file so I am going to use rm command for this but before that I will copy the path of this file and using rm I can remove this file from the directory so we got the path of the files now we can use the globe to iterate the directory and get all the file from here so i am going to use globe and this is not a dot edf file so i think we can't read it directly with mne so i have to use uh, scipy to read the matlab file so i am going to use import scipy okay look like uh, there is some issue so there should be one slash here i believe because we do not have at the end okay or we can use dot os join dot os dot path join os dot path dot join to get this also or instead of using this plus sign which is concatenating the strings so i have to read the first file for example for that i can use break because i do not want to read all of the file currently because I am going to explain with one file not all of the file so I am going to use data variable to store the data scipy.io okay let me see what is inside this data uh, this data is basically a dictionary so I have to use the dot keys basically to check what are the keys of this dictionary there are four keys 
adder version global clean data we are interested in clean data only you can check what is inside in other keys of this data dictionary i can check what is the shape of this data it should be something 14 14 channel because the emotive epoch plus have 14 channel and 15360 is the length of the data now remember that the sample frequency is 128 hertz so i have now two options one option is that i can use numpy to reshape the data and uh, the other way is that i can use mne and i have to convert data from numpy to mne format for that i can go to my youtube tutorial github repository this is the repository on which i am going to copy all of the code which i have used in my chrononet series or the part 0 or part 1 of this playlist so i have just opened it but i'm not going to use it right now because the first thing I have to convert it into MNE format after that after the conversion I can use the code which is listed here so to convert it into MNE I have to install the MNE I believe the MNE package has been installed I have to import MNE then I have to create a variable to store the sampling frequency or let me do it some other way let me go to the google and search how to create a mne object okay this is the documentation of this mne dot tools from using this i can just copy it, it and paste it there the number of channel is actually the number of channel our data set have that is 14 sampling frequency is 128 hertz in our data so I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it here changing the end channels to 14 and sampling frequency to 128 hertz if you see that the high pass is 0.0, .0 and the low pass is 64 hertz but in our case the high pass is 0 is 1 hertz and low pass is 30 hertz which you can see here okay uh, let me go to the documentation again and see what else we can do okay we can also assign the channels name we can also assign the montage and we can also assign this channel type okay let me put it here now i do not know what are the channels or the emotive emotive epoch so i have to google it emotive epoch channel Uh, basically this is the location of the emotive poke channel and this is according to 1020 international system uh, i'm not 100 percent sure that whether order is changed or not but this doesn't matter because we are not going to do something with functional connectivity that how our uh, location is connected to other location i'm everything i am doing remain constant in every data i'm going to use in this series so this doesn't matter if accidentally i misplace the order of the location this just even i can assign a number from 0 to 14 but i can also assign the channel names this is just for the learning purpose basically okay these are the channel name and the channel type is eeg and the number of channels are 14 in our case sampling frequency is 128 a montage is 1020 we have seen that and here is our info so these are the two issues currently we have you can even ignore that or i do not know uh, currently how to resolve them but a poor way to resolve them is this way this is not the recommended way because it will give us an error but let me use it just for that you can figure out what is the correct way of doing doing this but this will give us a warning and let me show what is the warning this is the warning deprecation warning so you can handle it some other time 
after that i have to create a raw array and then i have to pass it to that so this is my data which is actually mne object data equal to mne.io so here we go now we can use this thing set eg reference data filter make fixed length epochs and then we can get the epochs so i can get the epochs and here i have data duration is let's pause four second overlap is zero and let me run this after that i can get the data from this epochs and i can see the shape of the epoch all right Okay, this is the 30, 14, 512. 30 is the number of epochs, 14 is the number of channels, and 512 is the length of the data because if you multiply 128 with 4, it will come as 512 because we are dealing with 4 seconds. So, this is how you can convert the data from matlab.mat format to a MNE format. Uh, I should create convert all of the data into MNE format by doing something like this way i should create a function convert mat to mne one thing i am not sure that whether the author have taken the average references or not so I am going to take it again uh, because I'm not sure. Simply is that. I can even use the filter again, but that's up to you. You can try filtering the data again from 1 to 30 hertz. But as I know this data is already filtered, and so that's why I'm not going to apply the filter which I have applied it here. You can apply it again and changing the high frequency to 30 hertz.